I've been waiting all day. So, if they pass by my house, y'all, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. They're starving. <laughs> Friday. I'm bum lifing it in the same sweatshirt that I was wearing it yesterday. <laughs> Video coming out today uh, in the next 10 minutes. Oh yay. Um, on a braces update. Yo, I'm crusty y'all. I'm sorry. But um, I thought I'd do a little weekend vlog. I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend, but why not just vlog it out? Why not? Um, yeah, I'm still working. Regular, full-time job here. Um, y'all, it's empty, but I need to get something to drink. My new cup! This is my first successful wrap. And then I pulled a few off to put... Are y'all seeing that right? There we go. Reggie's VSG closet! But, um, first successful wrap. I absolutely love it with holographic vinyl. Look at this, this chickadee up here. She has claimed her spot in my office away from the youngins, up on the highest bookshelf she could find. It is what it is. She's queen, so she can do whatever she wants to do. I even removed everything that I had up there and put her blanket up there. Like, that's how much she, like, runs the show around here. But, yeah, full vinyl wrap. That was successful. I tried one before. It did not work out. But, y'all, it's gonna be my thumbnail. Hmm. But... <laughs> It looks so pretty y'all like look at that like this part is the cup um and then I also use like it's called like poly acrylic or poly something it's like a water-based sealant type stuff um and I sealed it and then I use the heat gun before I sealed it I use the heat gun so I kind of like like really like heat up the vinyl for it to stick really well and then I also sealed it so those are two tricks that I found on TikTok to seal your cups is to use a heat gun on the vinyl um, and then some people seal it. Some people do either or. I kind of decided to do both. And it's, it's really good. Like, I think I'm going to do both from now on. And it doesn't leave really any streaks. Like, you can't really even see any streaks or anything. Because it just dries so, like, nicely. But I'm so excited, y'all. Um, so definitely going to be doing cups like this for my Etsy shop. Um, or at least craft closet. But I'm um, basically going to be doing a lot of basic stuff for the um, the Etsy shop because um, I don't want to get in trouble with copywriting and doing like, like I've, I've done some personal stuff. Y'all see my YouTube cup. Um, I've done some personal Disney stuff, but I really need to figure out like how that works with copywriting before I start busting out with the Disney cups and all that stuff. Um, I actually got my first metal cup. Maybe I'll just show y'all. I don't want to get, like, work stuff here. <laughs> I don't want to get work stuff in this vlog. But real quick, um, I got this guy. It's just a box. Y'all don't really know what it is. But it's a turner. Like, I'll put a picture up. And it's wood. It's got this thing. But it's a turner because I am going to do my first, like, glittery tumbler and see how that works out. This is that polycrylic stuff that I was talking about sealing. And then I bought a little small box of resin for the, the metal tumbler here. I've got tons of glitter from the Christmas season um, because I had planned on doing those glitter bulbs. And that didn't quite work out. So yes, I'm very excited. What else did I get? I think that was it. Um, oh, these are the Disney cups that I did that are just going to be for personal consumption, but that's so cute. This is actually, if y'all can see, let me like stretch my arm here. This is actually a water bottle. I did not know Starbucks sold water bottles, but it's a water bottle and, oop, 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 it almost fell. And then this is the other guy. Oh, there we go. Yay, there we go. Um, this one's really cute too, and I actually did that on the top. And this one's sealed the same way as well. And just look at that holographic vinyl, y'all. I'm a crazy vinyl lady. Um, I actually found this guy 
added to my little repertoire already. Um, it's the mini um, little press um, for like hats and just smaller spaces. Probably be better um, if I had that when I did my um, my one year old niece's little jacket because it's such a small space. But it was on sale at Joanne's, so I went ahead and got it. It was like twenty bucks off and. I think they're normally like $60, so I was like, ooh, that's a good price. So I went ahead and jumped in for that, um, ordered some TikTok. Everybody talks about this stuff. It's a transfer paper by Frisco Craft. You get it from Amazon, and it's like a big roll. Let me see. Ooh, there we go. It's a big, thick roll, and I think this roll was like 10 bucks. So this roll, oh, y'all. Uh, this will last me a while. Um, I also, because I was in a pinch one day, found this stuff at Walmart. It's like $3 a roll. And it's like 5 feet, no, 10 feet. It's 10 feet of this like clear laminate paper that you're supposed to use to cover like books and stuff. And it was $2 a roll and I bought like all four of the rolls that they had. So I needed this in a pinch. It does work. Um, but I do want to see how the Frisco craft stuff works because I've heard really good things about it. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess this is just how we're starting out the vlog, y'all. This ugly sweater I got for $2 from Walmart yesterday. I'm going to put something on it, I think. I'm not sure. It's so cool, though. It's like a tribal print. I love it. And then this flannel, this flannel here was $2 at Walmart yesterday. And I've seen people where they put, oh, God, I just hit myself in the face, where they put, like, really cool, like, vinyl stuff on the back of these. So, I'm going to try that out. $2, why not? So if I mess it up, I won't be sad about it. But, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. I don't know what we're doing after work today, but we'll figure it out. And y'all are going to just come along with me this whole weekend. So, um, hopefully I end up doing something fun. I have no idea, but enjoy. All right, y'all. So I'm on a break from work. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. So the other day I was at Harris Teeter and I bought some, like, pre-made meatballs um they have mozzarella cheese in them too so i'm gonna stick some of these probably two in the air fryer for lunch and uh we'll see how it turns out i don't think i've ever done this but per google it says put it in there 400 degrees at 10 minutes and you've got cooked meatballs so let's see all right y'all so while <laughs> this here cooks um i put a little sauce in this little Tupperware thing with some cheese and I'll heat this up and throw my meatballs in once they're done and lunch all right y'all look at these things look at these things excuse my air fryer but I cook a lot of stuff in here and I don't always clean it after every meal but y'all these right in there grab that boy look at that look at that right in there and we've got lunch y'all this excuse the air fryer but tillamook oh my gosh i discovered this in seattle why isn't it oh there it goes i <laughs> discovered this in seattle when i went uh in 2019 to visit my cousin and y'all this cheese it's so good and they just started selling it here locally oh my gosh it's so good here we are a little tillamook on top a little parmesan cheese on top the the good stuff y'all already know not like the real grated stuff but the craft the good old stuff <laughs> but y'all there's lunch it looks so good i'm so excited and ready to eat y'all it started to rain i absolutely love the sound of the rain it's so good love it again lunch time yay so good y'all oh y'all can smell this i am free yes work is over the weekend has begun i don't think i'm doing anything like meaningful but i'm clocked out that job i love it i'm so i'm gonna stop lying no uh mm. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm starting to like YouTube more than I like my full-time job. So it's hard to love it as much as I used to, but it currently pays the bills. So until YouTube starts paying the bills, I love, love, love that job. But I am ready for the weekend. Um, I did good. 
I only had to work like an extra 15 minutes because y'all know some, how to, I go sometimes. Like 4.30 hits. I'm ready to clock out. I'll make it up later in the week. So I only had to make up 15 minutes today, which is good. That means I'm, I'm getting better. But um, I've got some packages to mail. It's raining. But we still got to go mail these packages. So I guess I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know if I have to go to the store for anything. I don't think so. Because I did like a Walmart run yesterday. So yeah, I'm going to just go drop off some packages. And I think that's it. I'm going to come back and just be a bum for the rest of the night. And then maybe we'll go out and about tomorrow. So I'm not going to take y'all the mail packages. That's boring. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing. Maybe a little of this. Maybe a little of that. Maybe I'll figure out if I can go out and go like do some browsing. <laughs> Some browsing I don't know but uh I'll catch you guys tomorrow good morning y'all I'm up so early on a Saturday I don't normally get up this early but I have a little bit of a fiasco the new computer is coming today yes this is the third one so y'all will get a second um unboxing <laughs> because this is a it's a newer model, but y'all, though I'll tell y'all in the unboxing about the whole computer fiasco. Again, this is the third computer. Like, it's it's getting really old really fast. Like, I'm ready to just like start using the computer and actually like I don't know. But I'm glad Old Faithful, the one, the noisy one that y'all always hear in the background when I'm in the office. I'm glad that one lasted through Vlogmas. That was my concern mainly when I first decided to get a computer is that it wasn't going to last. The one I had wasn't going to last through Vlogmas, but it lasted. We're one, two videos in and it's still kicking. So I guess it's okay. Um, but I'm ready for a new one. I definitely am. So I'm just going to cook breakfast. Oh, um, that's what I was saying. I just off track. Um, so I got up early because I got an email yesterday or the day before that the computer was coming today. Today is Saturday. Um, I was like, yay, computer's coming. And then I get an updated email today stating that it's not going to come until Monday. And I was like, no, because the FedEx center where the computer came into is like five minutes down the street from me. So I got my ID, had my tracking number on my phone, and I was ready to go pick up my computer. Like y'all aren't going to hold my stuff here and deliver it on Monday when it's five minutes away. I will come to you. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Um, I get there, I speak to management, they're like, oh no, the system is wrong, that's based on FedEx centers that only work five days a week, we work seven days a week, so your computer is out for delivery, he didn't say computer, but your package is out for delivery, and I'm like, great, so I'm back home, and we are ready to wait for this computer, so while we do that, I'm gonna get some breakfast going, y'all, I just, I've never done this, and just normally when you've never air fried anything or specific things, you just look it up. You say, hey, Google, hey, Google, how long and what temperature do I cook this item in my air fryer? So Google told me if I put my bacon in my air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, it will come out crispy. So that is what we're trying. And I'm going to make a chaffle. We're going to have a good breakfast. So Let's get that rolling. All right, so we have the air fryer going. I personally just put my stuff in there and it'll preheat while the stuff is in there. So it gets like an extra little, probably crispiness because I don't wait for it to tell me to put the food in. I just go for it. Um, we've got the little chaffle iron or little waffle iron. So I've got three eggs. I'm gonna scramble it with some cheese and this should make two pretty nice sized chaffles. Got this chaffle going. Good stuff. It should start to like fluff up when it starts like really cooking. Y'all, look at this thing. So good. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all see the pour. I did the first pour for TikTok, so <laughs> I've gotta do the second pour for YouTube. Ooh, this one has more cheese in it. Oop, 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 oop. Yep, that's most of it. Yep, that's good take that out and this is the reason why we add the plates because it gets a little messy but yes now let's check the bacon there's like three minutes left 
Oh, it's uh, it's in there. I think we're done. <laughs> so our second chaffle didn't come out as great as our first one, but it has a little bit of a more of a char or whatever. But here's breakfast. Yes. All right, y'all. Y'all hear that sound? I love that sound. It's the sound of a delivery truck leaving. <laughs> um, so I'm about to be like a super weirdo. I am currently cleaning up my garage. There used to be like a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. So now it's like nice and up on the shelf. There's some boxes I need to pull down like Easter, Valentine's Day, and my spring box needs to come down for decor and stuff. Y'all, for some reason, I am like super, super excited about like fall, not fall, sorry, spring, Valentine's Day, like March, my birthday. I don't know, like the weather during that time around here is always so perfect. Like, like right now it's a little cool, but the sun is out, so it's really nice. But for some reason, I'm just ready. And I really need to add a goal to my list of goals is I really want to be a true beach bum this year. Like last year, I bought a lot of swim. If y'all want to go back and check out all of my swim hauls. But I didn't go to the beach not one time last year. So I really want to go to the beach like a lot. I live... 20 minutes from like four or five beaches. Some people don't even live within like five hours of a beach. Like I live 20 minutes and I have like access to like four or five beaches. So yes, I want to be a beach bum this year. Um, but yeah, I'm just organizing the garage. And then as you heard the, um, look at this thing. Isn't it so pretty? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yes, it's so pretty in the sun. All right, y'all, so Torrid just came. So yay, I'm also cleaning cat bins and stuff like that. Cat toilets, as I call them. Um, probably gonna have like a little garage sale soon because these guys, they just didn't make the cut. Um, but yeah, just organizing the garage, getting it all together. Being a true weirdo because, what is that? UPS just dropped off Torrid. FedEx is dropping off the computer. So I'm just gonna sit here in the garage. Where's my chair? Here's my chair. I love this chair. I've got a set of them. Me and my dad like found these chairs years ago and then he took me to Lowe's or Home Depot and was like pick a color. He always used to do that. I used to love that. Like pick a color and of course 10 year old me was like lime green. So we picked this lime green <laughs> and we painted. I have the other ones over here. I don't know if you can see them but other ones over there. It's a set of five. I thought it was six, but I guess it's just a set of five. Um, and these used to be our like dining room chairs or kitchen table chairs when I was a kid. And I just can't seem to get rid of them. But they're convenient for my garage because I have seats. I have extra chairs for when my gal pals come over and we do some, I don't know, some adult things in the garage. We hang out. We talk. We eat crabs. I don't know. I mean, we ain't doing crazy stuff. Like, I'm not saying like adult things, like weird, weird stuff. But yeah, just extra seating. They're nice to have. I can't part with them just yet. I really wanted to repaint them, but like, how do you match paint? Like, I want it to match, match. So I don't know if I need to chip the paint and give them a chip sample and then they can recreate it from there. I have no idea. But yeah. So I'm gonna sit in the garage like a weirdo and wait for FedEx and then y'all, my cousin, she's just, she's the real G. She sent me an email, not an email, she sent me a text. Old Navy has their athletic leggings for $12. Only time I buy them. So if you love Old Navy athletic leggings and if you haven't heard me talk about them, they're amazing. Um, they have a thick band, they snatch you in, get them a size under your size. So if you wear an XL, get a large. Um, I usually wear an XL, so I get a large, and they snatch you to kingdom come. Um, and I usually only get the ones with pockets because there's no other way to wear athletic leggings but to have them with pockets because you need your phone when you go on a run or a walk and you need some place to put it. Um, so I usually put it in my pocket on my leggings. I just, that's, that's my new rule in life. I don't buy leggings, athletic leggings, unless they have pockets. Um, what else? I think that's it. So I'm just going to sit here alone and be a weirdo. So pretty, y'all. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start selling these. These I can actually sell because there's like no copywritten stuff. 
and they're so pretty and I have so many new holographic vinyls oh, mermaid scales I love it all right y'all so still waiting for FedEx so um I've gotten a few violations from my HOA for <laughs> my yard not being edged I mean I mow it but edging I don't I don't know so I bought this guy from Amazon um, I actually have to do a run to Kohl's because I actually accidentally bought two. Don't know how I do that, but yeah. So, got this guy. So, I'm going to attempt to edge because, yeah, I don't, we'll see. I mean, I always surprise myself when I, like, attempt to do stuff. So, I mean, it should be fine. Um, this little guy, y'all, if you don't have one, get one. It's so amazing. It's a little, like, box opener, but if you have kids... This is ceramic, so it doesn't, like, cut you, but it, like, slices. Well, I can't do it, but it really does, like, a good job slicing things open. Let me see if I can do this one-handedly. There we go. I mean, that's easy, but, like, other boxes and stuff that are, like, harder to slice open. This guy got it from Amazon called Slice. Um, great name. <laughs> Cute little tool. Um... Got this from a recommendation from Sarah Ray Vargas because she's amazing. She opens lots of boxes. Oh, look. It did, like, do a little slice and dice on the box. Look at there. Hey. So, yeah. But we're going to see if we can uh, figure this edging stuff out. All right, y'all. Still being a weirdo in the garage here. Wee. Lighting. Bad lighting. Nope. There we go. Bad lighting. Anyway. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, I put together my edger. I edged a little. I don't know if you consider what I did edging, but it, I, I don't need me. We don't know. Um, but what am I doing now? I have no idea. I think I'm just going to go upstairs and work on some stuff. What am I going to work on? I have no idea. I'm just waiting for FedEx. I really want to go to Old Navy. So we have to go to Old Navy today. I think I told y'all leggings are on sale. Um, and then we also have to go to Kohl's to return a second edger. Um, and then, oh, the Torrid order. There's some shoes that came in that order. I was like, nah, sis. No, we're not doing that. So we're going to return those. Um, so yeah. So we have some things to do today, but we have to wait on FedEx because this package requires a signature, my John Hancock. And, um... I, I'm stuck here until they come. So hopefully they don't come late in the day because I don't know because they don't have an estimated time because the thing says that it's supposed to come Monday but when I went down there they said no it's coming today but there's no estimated time so I'm stuck here. We may be returning these items and doing all of this stuff on Sunday because I have to be here to get this computer. Alright y'all, so it looks like I'm definitely stuck here at home um, all day today because FedEx just doesn't have a time frame of when they are going to bring my computer. Y'all, if this computer doesn't come today, I'm going to be so, like, annoyed. Really annoyed. Like, I hope they deliver on Sunday. Like, I would prefer that they not be working on Sunday, but I hope they deliver on Sunday. But then again, I'm going to be at church, like, all day Sunday because... I'm with my babies this week, this Sunday. So, I don't know. But um, until then, I'm going to just find things to do that I haven't gotten done. So, I'm going to do some laundry. And we're going to catch up on some YouTube. This is my little tablet here. Um, let me go out. I just watched some of Gabby's stuff. Love it or leave it. I absolutely love her. Um, SRV. I love her. But we're not going to watch that right now. Let's back it on up. Back it on up. Alright, like I said, I was going to catch up on some YouTube. My tablet was doing crazy stuff. So, this is where we are. Just finished watching some of Gabby's stuff. I love watching Cricket stuff. That's been a favorite lately. SRV. Can't watch that right now. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big lingerie fan anyway, so... Um, uh, her lingerie videos aren't, like, my fave. Um, I watched that earlier. Edna! With her cute little shorts. Love the that. I don't know. I'm gonna watch something. Um, I need to binge someone's channel. I need to binge a lot of channels because it's been a while. Hey, look at the Project Girl Boss. 
But, um, yeah, we're going to figure something out and, I don't know, find some busy work to do in the office. My office is, like, the best place to, like, scope out deliveries. <laughs> Got some awesome vinyl coming today. <sighs> I love it up here. We'll see it all. We'll see it all. Oh, it's here. The FedEx truck is here. Can y'all see it? I don't know, but it's right there. Hopefully it stops at my house. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. All right, so, very excited. I'm gonna go be a creeper. And look at this beauty here. Isn't she cute? I'm gonna go creep at the front door because it's a FedEx truck. I've been waiting all day. It's like, four o'clock it's like five o'clock i've been waiting all day so if they pass by my house y'all i'm gonna be very upset <laughs> stop 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 they're starving <laughs> yay she's here i'm gonna go open her i don't know if i'm gonna film an unboxing right now but I'm also free to head on out and about because we've got some things to do. Coles, we got to do some returns. So I'm going to switch out the batteries in you guys because y'all are low. And yeah, I'm so excited. And I'm free. I have my package and I'm free to go roam the streets. So let's go. Right, y'all, so this is a fun surprise. I have not, it's been years since I've had a package come with this popcorn stuff in it. Like normally they use the new school stuff, which is those like air balloon plastic things, but yee, I love it. I'm so excited. Yum. Y'all, she's so beautiful. I love their boxes too. Look at the handle. How cute. I love it. Bum life. Oh, oh, cherry day. Y'all probably see this prior to this video because of course I did a shorts. That's just what we do, y'all. I used to do these OOTD videos like clockwork back when, I don't know, I first started losing weight and I was getting all cute and wearing all kind of cute outfits and stuff. And I would just post them on Instagram and now shorts exist, y'all. So, <laughs> y'all already know. OOTD! Y'all already know. Like, y'all are gonna hear that. Like, from now until forever. Like, that's just my thing. I don't know anybody else online that does that. Like, that's me. That's all me, sis. But yo, like, I love how this headband covers my edges because they are rocking real crazy right now. But we're heading out. The computer came. Yay. Um. So yeah, we're going to head out. I got some returns. We got to go to Kohl's. We got to go to, where do we have to go? I have to drop some stuff off to my friend's house. I'm not vlogging that, but what else do I have to do? I have to do Torrid, if they're still open by now. Um, I got to do return there. Just, it's return day, so we got to do some returns. But yeah, Susie Sue, Susie Sue. All right, so we made it to Kohl's, and of course they give us this uh, little coupon here, so I'm going to use it. Oh, they have Easter stuff. So cute. I love it. So cute. Oh, ooh, ooh, an Easter wreath. I actually have some of these from last year. Found them on clearance here. But y'all, oh, that is cute. Look at that guy. So cute. Oh, he's so cute. Look at this one. Makes waffle sticks. Jewelry oh, that's cute. Customer calls. Ooh, I love that too. One. Nice. Oh, this thing is so legit. This is my air fryer. It is amazing. You should use. Parents' shoes. Let's dig. Y'all, I found some really good stuff here before. Additional cash. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Ooh, found a jackpot. These are cute. Y'all, one of my favorite places to get graphic tees. The men's section of any store, pretty much. Well, look at that. I don't know what character that is. Okay. 
Yes. They're so fun. Oh, I remember that episode. Too funny. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. All right, so Amazon return done. Um, I wasn't able to use the coupon because I just didn't find anything worth getting. So I just kind of blessed somebody else with it and gave it to her. Hopefully she uses it. Free five bucks, why not? But uh, I think that's it for tonight. Tomorrow, we're heading to church. Yeah. Good morning. It is Sunday. Y'all, I have had an issue with my heating system for the past few months now. Um, thought it was fixed, found a great company to come check it out, look at it. There was a slight issue, they came back, checked it out. And for a week I had heat and it was wonderful and there were no issues and until this morning. Probably started last night. I knew something was up. Uh, so it is 66 degrees in here. Um, right now I think it's like outside. It's uh, like cold for Charleston, like in the 30s. It's probably a high of 54 today. But last night I went to bed, the unit said 70 degrees. Um, woke up this morning and the unit ran all night. Woke up this morning and it's 66 degrees. So, of course, something's wrong. Um, I just, I don't know. Like... This is the third time, like, they haven't called me back yet. I don't even know if they're open on Sundays, but I left a message. If not, they'll come Monday, but this will be the third time for them coming out, and I don't know. I'm going to ask them if I should, like, contact the company that runs my little year warranty, because I have a warranty on the house if anything major goes wrong, that the warranty covers it, so... I really want to get this assessed to see if the warranty will cover replacing this because it's a lot of money to replace a, um, a like AC unit, HVAC unit, whatever it's called. Um, so if it can be covered under the warranty, then great. So I don't know. That's where I'm at right now, but it is, it is cold in here. Like, it's not like, like deathly cold but it's not comfortable like i i live in the winter time in a nice 75 close to 80 warm and cozy i love it warm and cozy in my house um in the winter um and this is not cutting it 65 is a no-go for me um so yeah i'm about to get dressed and head to church um, with my babies today. I'm probably not going to vlog church, unfortunately. Y'all have seen church. Um, but I still have some, um, what do you call it? Some returns to do. Um, I have some returns at Torrid. And where else? I think that's it. So we'll be heading to the outlets. And we'll browse around the outlets. And then we will probably end this vlog so I can edit and get it up tomorrow. I don't know. But yeah. That's the plan for today. All right, y'all. Makeup is done. Y'all haven't put on makeup in like, I don't even know how long. It's been a minute. Um, I need some chapstick. I always need chapstick. Oh, I see some. I see some from afar. Eee, Carmex, sponsor your girl. I love you guys. Um, y'all are like, like if I were to do a favorites video, Carmex would definitely be at the top of the list. But let me get some of this on. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Most of the time you don't even need lip gloss when you use Carmex. Because it makes your lips pretty glossy. But yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, it's easy. A little bit of a crop sweater action. Showing off my... Is this, is this really a fupa? Is this what... I don't think this is a fupa, y'all. This is just bottom belly. I don't... I don't think what people call a fupa is actually a fupa. Anyway. <laughs> um, sneakers, vans. The size 6 kids that I tell y'all about all the time. Ladies, if you wear 8.5. Um, no, 7.5 size 8. 
you can look at the kids section. Um, this sweater I've had for a while from H&M. And I just popped the tag on it today. Super cute. I'm going to be in the room with my one-year-old, so why not? Have a, like, super fashionable H&M Elmo sweater. And it's, like, cropped. It's real cute. Like, this is a cute little look here. Um, and then I, my edges, y'all, are a hot mess. So I bunned it up here, half of it. And then did me a little Elsa braid on the side here. So that's what we're working with today with the hair. But, uh, yee, ready to hang with my babies. Hopefully we get some. It's been real slow with the kids coming back to church. But, I mean, that's understandable. But, uh, yeah. Uh, OTD, heading out. Y'all have a good day. I will see y'all. I will probably see you guys when... Oh, y'all, look. Let me... This is, this is me here. This is the light. On my mirror. I don't know why I didn't have it on. Anyway, I will see y'all when we head to the outlets because I'm not gonna vlog church, but you know. y'all so i actually told a slight little fib y'all got a little piece of the worship set at church it was so good and my purse my purse my camera was in my purse i was like i can't like not like show y'all a little bit like we jam at church like i can't tell y'all how much fun it is <laughs> to go to this church it's insane and i just left a meeting y'all i am joining the photography team at church i'm so excited like i'm ready to really grow like just as a photographer, I kind of just do my own thing. I don't even promote my photography business as much anymore. I just, I don't know. I feel like I've enjoyed like photographing myself and doing self portraits and stuff, but I don't, you know, yell to the world, Hey, I'm a photographer. Come book with me. Um, I just, I don't know. I just haven't been real confident in my ability to take photographs um I do it for friends and family and repeat customers that come to me that I've shot before but I don't know I just I've lost a lot of confidence in my ability to just photograph and be a photographer so I don't really scream to the world that I am one um so yeah, I'm excited because I'm really going to force myself to like shoot in manual settings and just because I'm very, I mean, y'all know, like if there's an easy way out, sometimes I will take it. So if you know anything about photography, um, I shoot a lot in aperture priority because I don't like adjusting settings and doing all of that. So um, that's just, but it is what it is. I'm probably shooting in like automatic right now, um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this, like, next chapter, and then I've also been thinking, because we have, like, uh, what we call growth track, if you're new to the church, you go through this, like, four-step, um, class that kind of lets you know what the church is about, and just gets you kind of dived in to the church, and it's been a while, like, the last time I took it, I took it as, like, a part of a large group. It was a very large group. It was done in one day. Normally it's done in four different sessions, but it was done in one day because we needed the whole choir to be pretty much like growth track 
done I don't know how to describe that but we as a choir went through it together one Saturday and it took us like a few hours but I really think I want to redo that in more like a more intimate level like how they do it for steps so um that's been a thought so I don't know I think the this class starts over in February so I really think I'm gonna dive in even though I've been going to this church for like four or five years which is crazy because time just flies but and I'm you know a part of sea kids and I'm a part of now photography and I'm a part of the choir but I really feel like I need a reset and I really need to go through growth track in a more intimate setting so I'm excited to dive into that as well but um I think we're gonna go ahead and go to the outlets and do these returns and then I actually have a memorial service that I have to come back to um for a very dear, dear church member. Um, they just set up the sanctuary to get prepared for it. And y'all, oh, just, yeah. So I'm going to get my life together. I got to go to the outlets. We're going to do that. And then I'm probably going to go home and change so that I look decent. Because I'm in jeans and a sweater right now. And I kind of want to look a little bit more decent. But, uh, yeah, let's head to the outlets. All right, y'all. Tour, tour, tour time. Ooh, these too. They look little hearts. I don't need any more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Betsy Johnson clearance. Shoot. Yes. Yes. And yes. Love it. These are cute. Yes. Everything is yes today. That is cute. Oh no, this is my favorite part of the store, right? Ross. I really don't need to get anything though. But it does not hurt to look. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. No, I don't like this part of it, but. Hmm. They have their own little Tower of Torrid Clarence shoes. What are those? A pair that I already have. That's what they are, Regina. All oh, these. Oh, those are cute. All oh, this pants suit romper thing is amazing. And it has pockets. So cute. All right, y'all, so I had to make some adult decisions. Um, excuse my face. There's like light. I don't know. Let me move. Can I do, can I do something like, yeah? Maybe, um, I was gonna like shop around the outlets and do all that good stuff and y'all know. We, we did a lot, a little bit in Torrid. I didn't find anything to replace my return, so I just got my money back. Making adult decisions here. Yeah. So, um, and then I'm like cutting close with time. I've got to go home and change for this memorial. Um, so no, we didn't, we didn't scour through. I really wanted to go to American Eagle, but I know if I find something, I'm going to buy it. So we're just not going to go. You know, like if you really want ice cream, don't go to Baskin Robbins. All right, y'all. So I'm back home after being out and about all day. Um, just a good day though. I love being at church. If you know anything about me, I'm gonna try to walk up these stairs as I vlog. But y'all, I'm wearing heels. I'll show you what I wore to this memorial service because a lot of people seem to like this dress. Um, oh, hold on. Let me close some windows. I left blinds open for my cat because she enjoys chilling by the window. It's her favorite pastime. But, um, lights. Some lights. Lights, lights, lights. Hey, girl. What's up? This is the beauty. Oh, she ate all her food. Say hi to the people, honey buns. Hi, ladybug. You okay? You been sleeping? I haven't been here to force you to not sleep all day. You okay? You just sleep all day. It's my little elderly bug. 
she's older. She's about 13, 14 years old. So yeah, she just sleeps. You gotta get up, girl. I'm gonna put you out this office for a little bit so you can go be active. But yeah, what was I doing? I was gonna show y'all my dress. So today when I went to church, I wore tights under my jeans because it's just cold and I wanted to wear tights under my jeans and I have footless tights from Torrid. They're amazing. Y'all snag them up. So when I came home to change because for some reason the whole memorial service slipped my mind. Um, so when I heard about it at church, I was like, yes, definitely. This is a person that I interacted with at church and we just we had some conversations he's just a, was a really good great person um so I'm definitely gonna show up I mean I'm coming um so I came home I slipped off my jeans took off the sweater and I was like I need a dress I need something quick and here we go y'all so how cute is this dress from boohoo I believe boohoo yeah Y'all, this dress is so nice. It's so comfortable. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's got a little weight to it, so it's warm. And I've never done a look with, like, black tights. Like, y'all, look at the pants. <laughs> I literally came home and disrobed immediately. There's the sweater. There's the shoes. Torrid haul coming soon. But, y'all, how cute is this? Very cute. And these, um... Booties are from Torrid. I've had them for about two years now. Very comfortable because I ended up becoming what I do best at church is I became a greeter and was opening the doors for everybody and all that good stuff. And I stood for a good bit of time before I went inside the sanctuary to sit down and my feet still don't hurt. So good, good deal. But I think we're ending the vlog here, y'all. Um... I, you know, hope you guys enjoy it. I don't know. Um, it wasn't like a huge uh, eventful weekend, but it, this is normal weekends for me. There's not like a, usually a lot going on. I usually do weekends where I plan on doing lots of things, but I just thought I'd show an actual like normal weekend for me. But yeah, I think that's it, y'all. I will catch you guys in the next one. I have no idea what I'm filming this coming week. Um, oh, I think there's a, there's a very strange unboxing, not really unboxing coming of the current computer. Um, that's just, you know, I'm not even going to go. <laughs> y'all already know how my videos go and y'all seem to enjoy them. So I'm going to keep doing them the way that I do them. Um, but that's it. I think that's it. Y'all, I love y'all so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!